Happy Halloween, friends! Today I'm going to be sharing two of my current favorite snack recipes for enjoying on a crisp fall evening while watching a festive movie. Hocus Pocus is my favorite this time of year. Uh, this is my easy cheesy popcorn and pumpkin spice hot chocolate, both plant-based recipes, super easy. So let's start with the popcorn. For this recipe, you'll need a large pot with a lid. You're going to need coconut oil and popcorn kernels, of course as well as nutritional yeast, salt, and a spice grinder. So I use the spice grinder to grind up the nutritional yeast. This makes it into a fine powder, which makes it stick much easier to the popcorn, which coats it more evenly for seasoning. So this is our main seasoning that we're using, and it's a really nice seasoning that actually is packed full of B vitamins and folate that also has a bit of a cheesy taste to it. So if you're plant-based or dairy-free or whatever, and you're kind of looking for something a little bit cheesy, a nice savory flavor, this is a really nice thing to do. So I use a spice grinder to grind it up. It does make it a little bit I don't know how to describe this, but wispy, kind of vapory. So I let it sit for a minute after I grind it so the, the dust settles. Like it's just dusty <laughs> would be a better way to say it. You can see it, it's even now kind of wafting out of there. Um, but I put this aside. You want to have this all ready so you can put it onto the popcorn as soon as the popcorn is done. So I just have my pot on medium heat because I don't want it to run too hot. Coconut oil heats up very quickly. And I'm using refined coconut oil because it does not have a particularly coconutty taste. And then I have these little mm, pot handle covers I put on to um, keep the pot um, cool to the touch. Now, once the oh, coconut oil has melted, I add just a few popcorn kernels and put the lid on. This is a way to test to see when the popcorn, when the oil, excuse me, is at the correct temperature to pop the rest of the popcorn. So as soon as those few kernels pop, then you can add in the rest of the kernels. You know it's ready. So you just pop those all in. I do. This is a, enough to first a hearty portion for two people. So I'm doing a third cup of popcorn. And I shake this every 15 seconds or so. And I use a towel to hold the lid down because the coconut oil is very hot and can splatter even through the cracks of the lid. Um, so every 15 seconds or so, I shake the pot. You can see it's popping, popping away. It only takes a couple of minutes for this to go if you do the um, method I show where you put the few kernels in first to see when it's ready. Take it off the heat and you want to immediately dump in your nutritional yeast and your salt. I'm using a teaspoon of salt. This is to taste. I think I forgot to mention it was three tablespoons of nutritional yeast, but yes, that'll be I'll have the recipe all written out for you below. And then I give this a good shake in the pot with the lid, but I don't want it, the popcorn to get soggy, so then I take the lid off and I stir it up um, with a wooden spoon, and you can see it's nicely coated. It is so yummy, scrumptious, tasty, delicious, decadent for sure, and a real treat to have. Now for the pumpkin spice hot chocolate. I take a smaller pot and I'm using almond milk as my milk alternative of choice. Cacao powder, pumpkin, like a pumpkin puree, canned pumpkin. I use chocolate chunks. Um, Enjoy Life is a great plant-based brand. Dandies marshmallows are also vegan. And then you want your topping, you might want a whipped topping. I found this um, almond milk whipped topping, which is great. Um, so I put two cups of almond milk into my pan. I prefer almond milk because it doesn't have much of a flavor to it, so the other flavors that I'm adding in really stand out. I put in two tablespoons of cacao and two tablespoons of pumpkin puree, and I whisk that together. Now this is a recipe to make two cups of pot chocolate, um, but you can easily make, you know, have this recipe and just make it for one. And then I like putting in actual chocolate because it makes it nice and rich. You see, I made a little mess there, and I can't stand to leave a mess in my in my kitchen for a second. Um, and then the pumpkin pie spice you just put into taste, or if you just want to do cinnamon, I've done that too. That tastes good too. Whisk that all together until it's nice and hot but not boiling. Give it a taste. I like all the proportions, so I pour it in. So when I'm so we're serving hot chocolate with marshmallows, I like to put the marshmallows in the cup first so the hot chocolate heats them up 
he can see me cleaning up the counter. I can't stand to leave a mess. Um, or you could just do whipped cream or you could do both. So are you team marshmallows or team whipped cream or both? <laughs> uh, and then I just put a little bit more of that pumpkin pie spice on top for fun. And there is delicious, decadent, rich pumpkin spice hot chocolate. And now I am all set, ready for the movie. So cozy, can't wait to dig into this. Invite a friend over, have a nice little get together, get in your jammies, just have a really cozy night. These are really great treats that are, like I said, plant-based, vegan friendly. So you feel like you can splurge without missing out on anything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon. Happy Halloween, friends.